Now then, over the last few weeks, we've been uh, looking at some of the items that will go on display at the Bristol Aero Museum when it finally opens to the public. It's due to be built in Filton, of course, by 2017. It will, of course, house the famous, the famous Concorde. One of the highlights of the museum is to be a full-size replica of the flight deck, which is currently being made by engineers who actually worked on the original actual aircraft itself. One of those is John Britton, who was chief engineer on Concorde until our last flight, of course, back in 2003. I'm delighted that John is with me in the studio. Really good to see you. Good afternoon, Jeff. It's brilliant. This is all taking shape, dare I say belatedly, but it's all taking shape in terms of the, the Bristol Aero Museum. Yes, it's absolutely excellent. Um, as you know, we've got a lot of exhibits in the old aircraft assembly hall and the BAC Trust has got um, over 100 some Filton engineers, but a lot of other people coming to Filton every week to prepare the exhibits um, for the museum, as you say, opening in, in the summer mm. of 2017. That's going to be brilliant. And um, the, the idea of the museum is that we show the history of Filton. And obviously, we won't have the, the runway, uh, etc. there, but we want to show the history of Filton from 1910 when uh, Sir George White turned the tramway centre. Um, into he saw the potential for an aerospace uh, manufacturing centre and he started building the Bristol box kite and then we went on to the Bristol fighter and uh, lots of things during the, the war, the Bristol Blenheim and then off, after the war obviously um, Concorde uh, started working on the supersonic in um, the uh, 1960s Tell me about this latest venture. You're building this, is it actual size, the, the, the cockpit for the, for the museum? Yes, well, the, 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 flight deck. the flight deck, this was uh, part of the Concorde development um, equipment. And uh, I don't know, some of your engineers that are listening in will know that Concorde was the very first fly-by-wire, as we call it, aeroplane. What does that mean? Well, it means that airplanes up to then the flying controls and the engine controls etc had been by cables with pulleys you know mechanical connections but concorde was the first aircraft that had electrical mm -hmm. signaling right. to the flying controls and to the engine and so this flight deck was built so that the crew could experience what it felt like um, to handle the engines, move the throttles, and what it felt like to have electrical signalling as opposed to mechanical signalling. Ah, brilliant. brilliant. Um, so, so what size is this, This um, what you're building for, for 2017? It's actual size. but what? Because the thing that staggers me with, with Concorde is that it wasn't very wide, was it? It wasn't very big. Well, Jeff, um, your little area that you've got here, if you're the co-pilot... <laughs> I like this. Um, I'm the pilot, sat next to you, yeah. closer than I was now. There's an engineer behind you, yeah. and the whole flight deck is no no bigger than the space you've got here across well, your, your desk. You're about four and a half, five feet away from me. Yeah, it's well, no, no bigger than that. Uh, it's smaller than that. Yeah, smaller the, than that. The even. seats, the the pilot and the co-pilot seat are about half a meter wide. They've got the throttles in between yeah, yeah. them, which is about 400 mil. Oh, and space then, at a premium. Yeah. So where so, are you in terms of, of this recreation? You, how, how far down the line are you with it? Well, uh, we uh, had inherited this from the Rolls-Royce uh, Heritage Trust and it was uh, largely um, a fairly uninteresting um, flight deck because a lot of the instruments were dummies. Mm -hmm. But what we've done, we've gone through and we're illuminating all the instrument panels. Uh, the things that, that probably some of your uh, listeners will know is that uh, pilot and co-pilot are the only two crew you have on a modern aircraft, but Concorde had an engineer as well. And he had a big panel where he had to look after the fuel system and the air conditioning and hydraulics, etc. So we're lighting up all those panels, but the other thing that we want to do is connect the control column and the throttles to a simulator program yeah. where people can actually sit in and move the controls and the throttles. Brilliant. And the display around the front will make them think that they're actually flying, flying the aircraft. Concord. Amazing. John, an absolute pleasure to meet you. Great stuff. Looking forward to seeing all this in 2017. Great <laughs> to see you. Thanks very much, Jeff. Thank My you. Pleasure. Thank My you for pleasure. having me.